Embolism is the process of embolus formation. Embolism occurs in the blood vessels, can obstruct an artery, and it's indicated by sudden disruption of blood flow or respiratory failure. The clot formation process usually occurs due to thrombotic disorders in the blood. Nonetheless, the embolus can originate from fat, amniotic fluid, air, tumor tissue, or any other type of foreign body. Embolism occurs in various ways as it can be caused by different factors. The types of embolism can be classified according to the matter of the embolus, which can be solid, gaseous or liquid, bacterial contamination, and this can be septic or sterile, origin, and it can be cardiac, arterial, venous, lymphatic, or foreign body embolism, and according to the blood flow, where it can be paradoxical or retrograde. Literature reveals that most embolism cases are provoked by thrombotic disorders, which account for 95% of the cases. Thromboembolism is the obstruction of a blood vessel by a clot or ruptured thrombus, which circulates through the blood flow from a larger vessel. This can be caused by either deep vein thrombosis or DVT, and this is formation of a blood clot in one of the deep venous blood vessels, or atherosclerosis, and this is atheroma or plague forming in the arteries. Rudolf Virchow identified the event of a pulmonary embolus in 1856 and still made the milestone of today's medicine in this area. Stasis, vessel damage, hypercoagulability are known as virtual star triad. These are hemostatic systems including complex interactions between platelets, the vascular endothelium and the blood coagulation cascade. The main obstacle in novo research is the pro uh, appropriate definition of embolism. By further analysis towards the origin, embolism can be divided into two groups. The most common issue begins with deep veins. The deep vein thrombosis occurs through the excessive blood clot formation inside the blood vessels. DVT first sign becomes visible through abnormal swelling, scarlet skin, and increased temperature within the spot. The molecular mechanism and further information according to thrombus formation are, however, obscure. The embolism origin can be also indicated through atherosclerosis. The clot can be formed by several different substances such as fats, calcium, cholesterol and other possible uh, findings in the blood. Cholesterol and other uh, increased danger appears to be for those patients uh, with elevated uh, LDL. LDL stands for low density lipoproteins, which are responsible for endothelial various dysfunction within arteries and blood accurate permeability. Uh, the beginning symptoms are almost probable to be dismissed by the patient and contribute to further compliances, such as heart attack or even diagonal. The most well-known uh, type of embolism is pulmonary and it is mostly caused by a thromboembolic disease. This was, uh, however, the proper approaches to diseases uh, were evaluated uh, around 20 years ago. The greatest impact on novoembolism research is the development of tools, an early diagnosis and medication. Risk factors. The main group of people with the most critical condition are patients with uh, stroke or had previous uh, history with pulmonary embolism, uh, people with obesity, ca cancer and other heart diseases having uh, deep vein thrombosis, uh, had burn and uh, or bone uh, surgery, atherosclerosis uh, being above the age six. Pulmonary embolus, the main cause of pulmonary embolus is DVT, but it can also originate from atherosclerosis air embolus and a fat embolus. The size of the clot can be differentiated 
and danger for patient's life arise if the clots block the blood flow in the lungs. The shortened breath increase heart rate with systematic pain and a cough can occur. The PE is known as the most common from the thromboembolic type of disease. It has been noted that PE incidence has increased in the UK in the last years. This is the most likely due to accurate diagnosis and reporting that has improved in the last few years. Amniotic fluid embolism. The unusual and extremely rare condition appears to occur during pregnancy. One in 8,000 to 80,000. However, in the case maternal or fetal mortality is as a high as 40 to 80 percent. The disease initiates between intrapartum and postpartum periods. This is the moment when the amniotic fluid is crossing barrier of uterus veins towards pulmonary or systematic circulation. Fat embolism. Fat embolus formation occurs due to lipid accumulation within blood vessel or microglobulin travelling through small vessels in the lungs, causing endothelial damage, respiratory failure and cerebral dysfunction, burns, childbirth and nutritional supplementation can result in a fat embolism. Many times the disorder occurs as a complication resulting from a trauma causing fractured bones to release bone marrow in the bloodstream. Gas embolies. The disorder is caused by air bubble accumulation in vein or artery, which can either travel to the lungs causing PE or to the brain resulting CGE. The can occur during the scuba diving or traumatic event or during even minor surgical procedure in a clinical settings. Endoscopy, angiography, tissue biopsy and catheter use among other carry to the risk of a complication. It has a poor prognosis and it can be easily misdiagnosed as a thrombic stroke. Symptoms of pulmonary embolism Chest pain similar to one occurring during the heart attack Coughing, limb swelling Symptoms of amniotic fluid embolism Hypotension, fetal distress, pulmonary edema Symptoms of fat embolism Nervous system dysfunction, anemia, irregular heartbeat Diagnosis of pulmonary embolism Blood test, chest x-ray, ultrasound and CT scan Amniotic fluid embolism, diagnosis are cardiac and respiratory arrest observation, 48 hours observation after giving birth. Fat embolism syndrome, diagnosis are increased serum lipase in bone, the urine and blood sample, blood lipid level examination. Treatment of pulmonary embolism, thrombolytic, surgical cloth removal and vein catheter filter. Treatment of amniotic fluid embolism, cushion, arterial catheter and blood pressure monitoring, tubal breathing. Treatment of fat embolism syndrome, unnecessary blood product administration, hydration and nutrition. Biomarkers early diagnosis. All those life-threatening diseases can cause several dysfunction of the entire body. There is a necessity for appropriate screening before the syndrome occurs and the right way to diagnose embolism can be HFABPs, uh, which is responsible for membrane integrity, non-protein bound detection, transport of fatty acids and myocardial necrosis detection. C-protein deficiency increases the risk of abnormal blood clot, troponins it's mainly a cardiac necrosis biomarker, D-dimer, thromboembolism mainly, and it's produced immediately after fibrin production, coagulation factor observation, natriuretic peptide for biomarker for heart failure, myoglobin screening for muscle necrosis, platelet count of blood cells, inflammatory cytokines investigation, uh, observation of interleukin and tumor necrosis factor. 
Embolism on daily basis. Prevention sometimes is prescribed by doctor using anticoagulants in patients with heart attack risk, cancer or stroke. Compression stockings and pneumatic compression, which is like a massage and under circulation of veins. Physical activity and healthy low fat diet and sometimes weight loss is necessary. Systematic leg elevation to improve blood flow. Limit or reject additions such as nicotine and alcohol. And extreme notice during travel, like drinking a lot of fluids and walking every day. Summary. The most common form of embolism is the pulmonary one. CT scans, echocardiogram, MRI, ultrasound and x-ray are the most common ways to diagnose embolism. The risk factors are increased after you turn 60. And there are biomarkers which allow for early diagnosis.